And we continue to check in with Western New York natives living through the Texas storm. Two on your side, Danny Spiwa caught up with a few who are safe, but say they're mostly in disbelief as they continue to communicate with family here at home. Western New York natives are describing the rain as relentless in southeast Texas. Phyllis Hojanowski lived her whole life in North Tonawanda until moving to Baytown three years ago, about 30 minutes outside of Houston. To get a sense of what's happening near her, look at this drone footage from the USA Today network showing a Baytown chemical plant underwater. I've lived through the ice storm. I've lived through plenty, plenty of storms. And never have I seen anything like this in my entire life. Roads that I drive my children to work on and stuff underwater. I mean, I, I try to fathom that. Hamburg native Tammy Everman works for an airline and lives about 35 minutes north of Houston. Her neighborhood is manageable, but she could only drive so far before she ran into roads covered with water. Her airport job will have to wait. I've got three different ways that I can go to get from my house to the airport and every single Every single one is flooded, so I can't even get to the airport if I wanted to. Houston's major airports remain closed as stunning images continue to emerge. And it's not just the people who are suffering through this storm. Photojournalists in Texas have also captured videos of animal rescues in these floodwaters. Before an event at the Buffalo Bisons game, we met River, who actually lived near Houston before a local group brought her up to Western New York earlier this summer. And thank God we did. She's such a good girl. Chris Ketchpole's group Pixie Mama's Rescue has started collecting pet supplies to send to Texas to help dogs not as lucky as River. That's just one way Western New Yorkers are helping as this rain continues to pummel Southeast Texas. I can't even explain it because it's just unbelievable. It's surreal. Like, I just can't believe it's happening when there's that much water. There's nowhere to go. Schools are closed throughout the area and some high schools and convention centers are now being used as shelters. Both Phyllis and Tammy say they're getting a lot of calls and Facebook messages from friends and family back home here in Western New York. They say they're just hoping their situation in Texas doesn't get any worse. Danny Spiwa, Channel 2 News.